Hello everyone, I'm Matt Evans and welcome to Board Game Replay. In this series we try to capture the experience of playing a board game by sitting down for a post-game discussion, talking about various elements of the game, and then during our discussion we're going to be cutting back to replay clips of moments that we found fun or exciting. Now today we're going to be playing Spectre Ops, designed by Emerson Matsuchi and published by Nazca Games and Plat Hat Games. Now I'm really excited to play this game today because it's a hidden movement game and that's one of my favorite genres. And on top of that, the theme for this is absolutely awesome. It's like a cyberpunk, this futuristic theme, the components are awesome. I mean, the board is even embossed, like all these different numbers in this grid here are embossed on the board. Really, really cool stuff. I can't wait to get to it and play it. All right, now before we get into this game, I just want to go into a brief rules overview, just to kind of cover the, the absolute basics of the game, just so you've all got some context for our discussion, if you're not familiar with the rules of this game. But if you're already familiar with the rules and you don't need any of that, I'm going to provide a link up here, as well as down in the description. You can click that. Skip right to the main video. Alright, so as I mentioned, Spectre Ops is a hidden movement game where one player is going to be taking control of an agent, breaking into this high-tech facility, trying to steal data and complete objectives, while the other players are playing as hunters trying to track that agent down and eliminate them. And the object of the game for the agent is to complete three of the four objectives that are going to be available and then escape through one of the exits here. The hunters just need to find and eliminate that agent before they're able to do that. And the interesting part is the agent is going to be basically moving throughout the entire game just based on this pad of paper. Uh, on an agent's turn, they get to move anywhere from uh, anywhere up to four spaces, um, diagonally or orthogonally. And you can see here on the board, there's all these different spaces and all the coordinates that are labeled on them with a letter and a number. The pad of paper is identical to the board. It just allows the agent to track their movement secretly. After the agent's done moving, they're going to mark down their final location in one of the spaces here, depending on which turn of the game it is. And then the hunters are all going to have a turn. And the hunter turns are very similar. A hunter on their turn moves anywhere up to four spaces, again, diagonally or orthogonally. And at the end of their movement, they're going to try to be in line of sight uh, of the agent. Now, line of sight is drawn orthogonally only in this game. So if I was down here, this agent was here in this space in, uh, what is this, G7, I'd be able to see all the way down this hall up until this point where I run into a wall. But there's no limit to the vision. An agent can see all the way across the map if there is nothing blocking um, a row or a column. Now after a hunter is done moving, he's going to ask the agent player, hey, do I see you? Are you in my line of sight? And the agent player is going to say, nope, all clear. Or they're going to place their figure on the board where they've been found. Uh, I'll say this guy was on G10. And as soon as this happens, that hunter is going to be able to get an opportunity to attack the agent. And the way they do that is they pick up a d6 and they roll it. Wow. And you're trying to get equal to or greater than the number of spaces you are away from them. So I'm one, two, three spaces away and I roll the six. And when I do that, that means I get a hit. You basically deal one damage regardless of what you roll in the die. You just need, it's the die is basically the distance. So that's basically essentially what you're going to be doing in this game. Moving around, trying to find the agent, revealing them, dealing them damage. Now one last thing I want to cover about movement and line of sight is that during the agent's turn, if they happen to cross into the line of sight or, or pass through the line of sight of one of the hunters, uh, they have to place what's called a last seen token. Looks like this. Uh, so for example, I'm going to move my move the agent here and pretend this is going to be uh, where they move. And again, this would be tracked on the sheet, but I'm going to show you on here just so it makes more sense. Uh, if the agent character did did this, they say they did one, two, three, four. Now, this hunter was in line of sight and they crossed through it. So uh, I would have to place a last scene token down here on G12 because it's the last space uh, that hunter can see before the agent dove out of line of sight. And picture this as like the hunter is sitting there not doing anything when it's not their turn and they just see this thing run by out of the corner of their eye. Uh, so they know the agent went in that direction, but they don't know exactly where they are. But it's also important to note that the hunters do not get the same thing on their turn. If a hunter passes right by the space that the agent is standing on, even walking through the same space that the agent was on, um, it's all about where they end their turn. Once they end their turn, they stop moving, then they check their line of sight. But if they had passed by the agent at any time during their turn, they don't get any clues. Now there's a lot of other little things. Each of the characters in the game have multiple special abilities, at least two to three of them per character, and they are all kinds of things. Some of them are faster movements, some of them are special things to get information from the agent. Um, there's, a, there's a sniper character that's going to be, that, that's able to basically face one direction and cut their line of sight off from the, the other two directions and if the agent walks across that during that, during their next turn, uh, automatic damage. Uh, so really interesting different abilities like that throughout the game. 
but the agent character also has them too, and they're really powerful. Uh, when you start the game out, you actually the, the hunter players don't know uh, what agent character you're playing or any of the items you've taken. Um, there's an item deck which has a lot of different variety of things, smoke grenades, EMP grenades, um, all kinds of uh, adrenaline boosts that basically let you run faster, move an extra couple of spaces on a turn, a lot of different things to basically make the game crazy and dynamic, but the scary part is the hunter players never get to know what those agents took for uh, for a character or what items they took, so you never really know what to expect, so you got to kind of be prepared for anything. So that, that's basically the, the, the gist of the game. A couple of little things I want to mention. Um, there's going to be four objectives on the board, depending on the player count. If you're playing two to three players, the tokens are actually face up exactly where the agent is going to need to go. Um, in four players and five players, the tokens are um, decided randomly, just like normal at the beginning of the game. Um, but there's no tokens placed on them. So all the hunters know is that the general area, like, you know, there's going to be one in this area, one in this area, one in this area, one in this area. That's all that they know. And they don't know where, so they can't really go to a spot and kind of keep it safe. Uh, now the agent player, one thing I want to mention, their whole thing in the game is to, to sneak around and try to stay away. But once they go and pick up an objective, even if it's, it's hidden from us, we don't know exactly where it is, as soon as they complete that objective, it's going to put a token on the board and flip it face up. So we're basically going to know exactly where that character is when that happens. And that's because whenever an agent completes an objective, they basically have to get right next to the space where the objective is, be adjacent to it, and at the start of their next turn, they flip the token over. So everyone knows at the start of you know whatever turn that was, that's exactly where the agent was. They were very close to, to that space. Um, another thing I want to mention is the car. All the agents also have a car that they can move around in because their movement is a little bit limited. They only get four movement per turn. So they can actually go and get in this car here and basically there's this little separate sheet here. They can hop in the car and use that car to move up to nine movement points uh, per round. So it's a collective movement point pool that they can all spend together. One character could use two of the movement points and then somebody else could use five and, and so on and so forth. So basically it's a really cool way to move around the map fast on these little two lane uh, sections of the board. I think that pretty much covers the gist of the game. There's, there's a lot of little details. I don't want to get into it too much um, because I think the best way to learn the full rules of this game is to check out the Watch It Played series on it. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to go check that out. It's absolutely the best way to learn this game. Um, it's about 20 minutes long. I highly recommend watching it if you want to know the full rules and then come back and join us for this. But um, everything I've told you so far should cover you for what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to discuss, and, uh, and the clips we're going to show. So I think with that said, when we get to the video. All right, yeah, it could be in, could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, good, thanks. I got him. <laughs> but at the same, you you smelled him though, right? He last last time, last time, last time, last time he was near. Yeah, dude, was, you could precognition, and we'd know. No, nah, that wouldn't help. Two it, turns ago, no, two just two turns ago far. was. This was, was this two or that? Uh, that was three. So w the next, the one we'd see him was one, two, three, pretty much you'd be over here. So <laughs> it wouldn't uh, matter. You want to go hang out by the exit? You're thinking. You won't be able to see but, yeah, but as it goes, it doesn't benefit you in any way because your vision is exactly the same. Yeah. Your line of sight hasn't changed a bit. Yeah, but... But if you're going to do that, if you're, not, if you're going to move to a position that's exactly the same line of sight-wise, then don't do that. Like, then let him sniff first. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, well, you're not you gaining get? anything by I'm doing saying? that. Like, even you moving to Q4... Is better. It's better because you're at least seeing down that one, short two, lane. and then I can get one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, you just need to see him. P and you can shoot him from range. P4 All right, is a cool. Good spot you move to, to move to O. What did you do? O four. O four. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh really? 
Yes, yes, yes. All right, Isaac, take a <laughs> shot. All right, Isaac, roll one. Take a shot. You need two or better. Roll one. Let's go. Please, no ones. Yes. All right. Um, I am dead. You're dead? What? Oh, no God. way! Are you kidding? I thought you had six health. That was really loud. How, did we hit you really? high? Yeah, that was six. Yeah. That was. When did we do six? I only did two. Uh, and you must have done three at some point. I must have done three. Unless yeah. I tracked an extra one, but. Oh man, that was wow. awesome. <laughs> Holy crap! That's why you was. That's why you didn't want to tell us we had that. No, it's health left. That was oh, that was man. good to stop me from going closer. Well, you were right because it was going to take me the extra turn. And anyway. it was a net neutral to go there because I already have line of sight of the whole street. <sighs> man, quite a contender though, Jeremy. Holy <laughs> crap! That was that was the first time I had spotted you. Yeah, the whole game. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> a, a one right there though. He's out. Cognition. If, he, if you rolled no, 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 that's not true. He was out. I spotted him here, but it was in the car. Look, Jeremy. Did post one, two, three, four. You out. Look, yeah. that was it. He I was just trying to end it. One turn, one turn from the end. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want to spend. Yeah. To, to be fair, if Jeremy had decided to, he could have probably gone south and dragged this game out yeah. for another hour. <laughs> but like, no. That's that's why I like Jeremy. Like he's not gonna do something pointless like that for the win. We he may have won doing that. We may have won, but it would have pointlessly dragged the game out for no real reason. I mean, eventually you get to the point where you can really start to corner him and like like the position that I'm in right now. Like you can't leave that block without me seeing you. And this particular character can shoot you even if you step by. I can shoot at your like where yeah, you where you right. were. So <laughs> anyway, oh, man. that was crazy. Fit. Oh, man, it's I'm, I'm so is, exhausted I was from playing say, that against Jeremy. <laughs> Holy this crap! Is, uh, this is this is a good one on many game. Uh, oh, I I actually haven't preferred them. I, I thought Whitechapel was a, a little too much. Yeah. Um, this uh, maybe simplifies it, but the powers are pretty cool, yeah. and so you feel like you're an intricate part of the party and not just. Another pawn that you're moving to for line of sight. I definitely see that. Yeah, I think with Whitechapel too, because, like this is a grid layout, so it's a lot easier to understand where movement might have yeah, happened. That's yeah, the other one was like great point. It's like oh, I took this weird alley, which happens to cover this much of the map. Like right, it's yeah. just one. That's so movement. true. Like, yeah, I, I still love Whitechapel for yeah. the thematic of what it is. Like I, oh, yeah. I love that, but I, I do agree that there are some definite. I, I think, the, like you said, moving pawns around is like oh, I moved here. Do I see you? Hey, you moved here. Do I see you? And Whitechapel's really a two-player. You made the point yeah. uh, earlier, though, while we were playing, is that it, it's Whitechapel's a lot better with two two people two playing people. Yeah. all the all the pawns, <laughs> all the police. Yeah. Uh, because that way you can just like you can just go through it. You don't have to consult with right, everybody. Right, right, right. This one is a little bit more intricate. That everybody feels. You have a different. Brian ability. is very different than my character. Yeah. You are very different than my character. Yeah, I like that. Um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I would say for this type of <clears throat> game, I mean, Whitechapel is probably the the easiest one to compare to. Yeah, I do prefer it just the way it plays out. Yeah, I agree. I would actually, I, I like the the theme of this one is awesome to me too. Sure. I, mean, I like I like Whitechapel's theme as well. Yeah. But I think the theme of this one with like the whole like future sci-fi thing and like. Look at this cool mini, like look at that dude. Like yeah, he's got like spider things, that's awesome. And I love the idea of like breaking into a facility and like we're like walking around in the dark. Like for some reason they can't turn the damn lights on. Like so that's, right? you know, like, I love that. I think it's a really cool, <laughs> I think it's really cool. Me. Yeah, just right there. Facing that way only. Like right there. super important data. Green Don't turn the lights on. Blue halos so. of light. Yeah. I like the powers that you had. Yeah. I'd um, be like, hey, what do we, yeah, what, so, what do, we do? Oh. For you to like look back, I used oh. a lot of powers Early and maybe looking back, I think that maybe you should save them for later. But like, that's why you guys had so hard time finding me the first the time. Beginning, yeah. Um, like whatever it was right here. I used stealth field to cross the street, so you couldn't see me. Oh. So that's what happened. Oh, but you don't even have to tell us when you use that. Yeah. Oh, it's devastating. Yeah. 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 So you guys like you, I think I was like right here. Let's see. I was at G nine. Where's G nine? Uh. I oh, know that's where I ended up is G nine. So yeah. I think I was like right here, and I, I was right here and stealthed across to here. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, so I used the stealth to get across. I'm gonna scan your. I'm gonna let me see that. I want to look at it here just with everybody here. But I'm gonna I'll scan this and put it up on the screen so, so we can kind of look at it. This is where I use. This is where I use all the abilities. I did. So yeah. stealth turn field. six, turn so eight. So stealth field was there. Then the EMP. Which one? EMP. Oh, I stunned your car, car once I was in it. Yeah, that's stunned your car. And then the hollow thing I used over here. 
to throw you off. If, I totally forgot about the smell thing. If it was for the smell, I think yeah, you guys would have been we so would have been so screwed. We would have chased you to <laughs> hell and back. I would have followed you all the way up there. Would, uh, oh, that was so crazy. Totally forgot oh, about man, that. Man, I, yeah, that was a good move. I, <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna just try this. Like, One, two, smell. Like, so if I just send this. Oh yeah, you smelled. That was a great movie. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you guys would have like chased me forever, I feel like. That would be great. To talk about that, the hollow the ho hollow decoy. Yeah, it's, hollow decoy. It basically allows him to place his once you explain, you, you um, play the yeah. character. So the hollow decoy, you um you place the last scene token and my figure token um, hmm. uh, within four spaces of my current location, either before or after movement. Um, and Maybe. by placing that is the same indicator as if I had just run that way. Mm -hmm. So as yeah. far as the information they get, it, it says, oh, he ran this way. Yeah. If it wasn't for the smelling thing, I, I didn't think of that. How, the last scene, I put my token and my dude? Yes. Okay. So the last Wherever scene. you were. All right. And who saw you last? Oh, Brian. <laughs> right there. Before he dropped that line of sight? Yes. Um, oh, I got to write down more. So he jumped around that corner. I think you could actually go to, I don't know if you put him on B23. Yeah, you weren't on that space, so. Huh? Yeah, that's the last space he would have seen you. Oh, uh, that's where I saw him? Mm -hmm. That's where you last saw me. That's where he was, yeah. It's the, it's the, it's the two So range. if you don't have direct sight of you now? That means I didn't end there. That's like, so I ran by you. You're like, hey, I just saw him. And he yeah. went. And so you know who it so is. So now I'm, obviously I went to either there, well, I guess I couldn't have gone there. So. so we passed through him. So yeah, he's, he's like. This just tells us that he is... That's where you last saw The me. most he could be away from there is like two. He's really close to there. Um, Brian, I'm going to have you go first. I think that I feel like that seems like the obvious one, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take a chance. Take a chance on me. One, two. And then I'll smell. Did I land on your space? Uh, nope. Damn. Um, It'd have been free da extra damage if I did. Yeah. So how's the smell thing? I just say if, if, if you're close, close or not. Um, you're within four. I'm not close. Okay, so I think he's used an item to make his last scene thing be closer than it is. I think he went the other way. I think his true last scene is probably still south. I'm gonna stay on the road. Okay. Because I seems... don't know anything about the powers. So. <laughs> so no, I know that that specific character has an ability that lets her take her last scene token and shift it around, so she can move her last token within four spaces. And he doesn't have to tell us. Oh, so. So like so I'm like, where the hell could he possibly go? So when I gone? sat there and counted spaces, he's, he's just, he's like, just like, messing with us. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, so he could very well still be in this room. I think that was an idea to try to get us to scoot and try to go back up north. Wow, well, that was really good. Cause it worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, why don't, I'm really bad at being a guard. That's all. I'm gonna go. You got your forearms. Great. Thanks, man. One, two, three. Done. Shoot him. Anything? Nope. I think this is where he picked it up. I think this is where he threw it before he moved. And then I think he probably went somewhere down here. So I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four. Should I stay up on that road? Yeah, I kind of think you should. Now you've already moved off the road, but still, you, you, I think he made the right call. Yeah, I thought he, he was right going call. that way. But if he's decoying that and running around that, I think he used that, it before he moved. You know? you know? Yeah. So he's right there. Um. Oh. Okay. You found me. I'm done. So you can shoot me. Oh, I'm within your line of sight. I'm right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> so you get a free. See? Yes. I think you're gonna get the range. Well, which one? Which one? Um, well, it says I roll two dice for each hit I get, right? No, it just gives you more range. I would. I, think. I hit you. Yeah. <laughs> and it, that's what kind of initially you did the smell, and we were like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. And then I remember right before we started the game, I was specifically talking about the effects of the hollow decoy. So it was in my brain to think, yeah. uh, make, like, I'm didn't aware. even know about it. Yeah. At the time, we didn't know what character he was playing until yeah. he did that, and we were like, oh, it's got to be the Oracle or whatever yeah, the, it is. The Blue, Blue Jay. Jay. Blue Jay, yeah. yeah. There's wow. such a nuance to like those little things about, like, first of all, looking at this sheet now, I haven't really looked at it much, but like, look at how much clearer the map yeah, is like, on there. Yeah, Basically, like, like, all these lights and blurriness, it's all by design. It is tough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, briefly what I did, I came, I went over this way, I, I you guys caught, caught up to me pretty quickly, so I started to like track back, and then I went this way, stealth across, triggered that. Um, I forget how I got across. I think there was just one point where you weren't looking on yep, the street. There was a gap, yep. I, I think Brian that. was like here, so I just like sprint. And then, or I didn't sprint. I just, I just barely made it across. And then, 
made my way down. When did there. you use your sprint to get this? Uh, right after I picked up the third one, I okay. sprint. So like. Okay. I think I activated it from here. That's what I thought. And then I sprinted. it. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six. I said, I remember, I was like, he's right here, but I didn't think he sprinted yeah. to there. And, and then, yeah. so I did six, Good and move. then I made it across the street without mm -hmm. being seen there. Or, no, you no. Made it, you went to here. I put it to here. Yeah, yeah, I went to there. I made it to Your there with four. Was there. I went diagonal. I went one, two, three, four. So what I think, just rolling it back a couple turns, because this is important, right? He was here, then he went one, two, three, I think maybe four. He activated the token from here, right? Um, no, because I was standing no, I was standing here, looking straight ahead. So he was probably, he could have been right here, right? He could have had a, mo a card that gave him extra movement, so he could, could have been on something over here. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's a lot of extra movement, though. He'd have to go one, two, three, four. One, the, two. The mo one. extra movement is six. So, six, up yeah. to two, so two more up to six. Yeah, so he could have been there potentially. Yeah. And then, but I don't think he was two, because two turns gets you up there. There was enough objects for him to hide behind, and he knows our movement limitations that he could have been sitting right here and then just gone like because he's only got two turns, so he could have gone. I moved right past him, and then he could have gone like one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Nah, puts him in the road. He had to have gone. I'm saying is that for four turns. For only eight total moves, or potentially, maybe he'd use an extra movement now to get across the road, but like, he cannot be far in there. Because he touched this three turns ago, that means he's 12 spaces away from... But he's he, not also not dumb enough to be in this lane. He's in one of these. He might not have a choice, though. He, right, that's what I'm saying. He's in one of these. He he cannot be here. That's too far. I agree with you. So, it, he if knows he's Brian, around he knows, the corner... He knows Brian's movement is six... Yeah, so he's in one point. of these. That's a great point. Hmm. How do we get him there? Uh, I don't know. Unless Matt can go like right here. You know, or right here. I can get there, yeah. I'll go there first then. Yeah, just to rule that out, ready? One, two, three, four. Four. And anything? Uh, what do you I'm on T. Uh, T. No. Okay. So he's in that one. I, I've got a feeling he's in that one. I don't. He literally. He's in, he. He's probably not in the row. He's definitely not. He's not here, right? So even if he went in this way and went up to a second spot, so he's either. I don't like, think he would. He's be either. That he's either here, here, right. or here, or here. Like he's got to be in one of those like eight spaces. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I like it. Uh, yeah, Brian, free attack. No, he just sprinted. <clears throat> no, he gets you an attack. Melee. What? If you move five spaces. Oh, if you move five, you can only melee. I didn't know that. You right. have to move four to, to do a regular attack? Only attack agents he shares a space with. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, that's where he is right now. So, yeah, we, it, our deduction actually did pay off because it's exactly where he was. And then, that was crazy, man. Like, the like the... When we actually find, we found you for the first time, like way down here. Yeah, it was right here. Yeah. You moved down here and he was here. Yeah. I, Matt was sitting there and I'm like, all right. Oh, and then he shot me twice. <laughs> it was like, it's such an awesome feeling to walk into the, like just to have me like, what? I actually, because we spent, I mean, that was almost, how many turns was that before I got you? 10 turns, half the At game, least, yeah. almost half the game before we even spotted him. And like, our, and then I happened to run to the guy. We're like, we were, we were already yeah. babbling about like, why we play this against Jeremy as the single guy? Like, <laughs> yeah. this is a bad idea. And then, boom, we found him. I was like, okay, we have some hope. And my particular character in that case. Yeah, I was mean, good you inevitably move. corner him. Like, the game flows. The mm -hmm. game flows this way. So it's really a, oh, uh, you know, shift all the way down there and then shift all the way back. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, you're going to corner him at some point to some extent. Yeah. yeah. So there's, there's basically like two ways of doing it. Either quickly, like I did, where I'm like, grab this one, this one, and this one. Or you can just draw the game out. It can be a lot longer than it actually was. Where like, so if I went over here and then went over there and then like came back to here, mm -hmm. I could have circled around, done a lot more loops. But, but you, you had the, even longer. Than you had to jump on us for a bit, and I think to your to your point there too. Like if you take the game and it's riskier. I would say it's riskier to try to draw it out like that because if you've drawn it out for 20, 30 turns and or thirty five turns and we get to the end of the game, it's like okay, no one's leaving this block. Go ahead and move. Like we'll get you. You know what I mean? Like. 
Yeah. You could you could corner someone to the point where you, d you say, okay, I'm not doing anything, and then you move one space in at a time, and then you guys have basically the whole perimeter locked down. The, it gets harder and harder to move out. The, the other thing I came I was thinking of doing, but because like we already been going for quite a while anyway. Yeah. But, so like when I went here, and Matt was sitting here just like looking out. So when he faces that way, he only has vision there. So I was yeah. thinking like. I just walked right there. That would have been amazing. I would have been. I would have. It would have been. Just like tap him on the shoulder. Yeah. Later. Uh, see ya. I was. That's why I, towards that, that last. That would have round, taken like still, ten more turns. So. I wanted to make sure that if you even, even then, it's not a guaranteed win. But like that would have. That's the. I guess maybe the one downside I can see is. Yeah. It can draw it all. Yeah, there is a maximum turns, but still forty turns. Forty turns would be a lot. We did time. twenty-three turns, and that was like what, a couple two, hours. Two yeah, hours. A couple hours. So, it was about two hours. Yeah, if you got a lot of time and you want to sit down and do it, cool. But. I can agree with that. I see where it can get drawn out a bit, and I mean, there's also a bunch of other abilities. A lot of the other ones are like, like uh, activatable and reveal. Like, there's a bunch of different types of grenades. Yeah. There's a smoke grenade. There's a flashbang. There's a lot more active things. I went with a lot of like hidden, don't don't reveal, so you don't know what I use. Hmm. So um, you got to pick those. Cool. Yes, yeah, yeah, I picked five. five. There's one ability that's only used with my class, which is the hollow decoy. So that's based off because I picked her. Each yeah. one has their own special yeah. ability. Um, Do they all pick? Those the five special cards they all so come from that deck, or does yeah, each so class have their own specific? There's one? only one special card for each class, okay. and then all the other cards I pick from. So right. I pick four cool. other ones. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was the first game. I yeah. think, every, like maybe if everybody has played this class once, it can get a lot more in depth and yeah. maybe really? find them a lot quicker or or something. But right, yeah, something like that. And it generally when we do a game, when we make a video, we generally will play it a couple of times. Like we usually try to get those practice games in. This one we kind of figured um, we had seen the watch it played videos on it so we're like okay it's a pretty straightforward game like he explains it really well like okay we got it the only real things are just how to work the the items like a hidden yeah. movement game the basic rules for that and so we're working thinking, the like, board to your yeah. advantage as well so i think yeah. i think doing this for our first game isn't a bad thing i mean yeah. for for our um in terms of our overall analysis of it i mean yeah like he said future games might change the way you know yeah. games might go shorter they might go longer probably but, go longer i mean yeah. it unless it's different people playing the mm -hmm. uh the convict every time, then mm -hmm. I, I could see you uh, really trying to so, use a little bit more confusion. I would yeah, say, yeah, but at the same time, you've got more experienced hunters at the same time too. Yeah, that's true. And I, I think that kind of would all kind of balance itself out. You got sort of an inexperienced agent, inexperienced hunters, mm -hmm. we're kind of all just tripping over ourselves. I bet it would go faster in the sense that we'd make decisions faster. Jeremy might be more willing to make a risky thing by staying one space away yeah. in a future game. That was good fun. I enjoyed that. I, man, it was fun to get in Jeremy's head. Just like those couple of times when we were right, it was so satisfying. <laughs> it is. It was so satisfying. Like we really, that last half of the game, we really just like buckled down. We're like, we need to really think about every space because he's doing that and we're not right now. Yeah. That worked out. That was, that was really fun. Where you saw him? Okay. So he was on W6. I waved at you as a So he must have been here. You, he didn't move his full movement. Or he was in one of these spots and went through right past you. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Now then, I would put him here. So he's... He wants to be here, here. He was either on W16... W... He, there's no way he moved one space. If he moved... Okay, so if he was on W17, he's right here, no question, he's there. Guaranteed. 100%. He's not, though. There's no way he was on 17 before. If he was on 16, he's 1, 2, 3. He could be somewhere on this road. But knowing Jeremy, he could have honestly just... He could have gone like this. 1, go 2, right 3, there. 4. He could be right back here. Um, uh, you can't get very far, can you, Isaac? How You're in the car, right? You can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, mm -hmm. 9... And you can get up to the road at least, Isaac. Yeah, just tell me what's on the road. up. On I'm the road. gonna maybe stay in this crossroads Wait, here. Hang on. Can you count it up? Where are you? You're he right, was here. right here. So where are you going? He was here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Two on left. Definitely are okay with yep, the car. Yeah, you can take diagonals in the car. So if you're hopping out there, Isaac. Uh, you can stay in the car. I, you just can can't I see? You can see, but you can't attack him if you do see him. I almost think that you should get out. Yeah. Well, you're no, because why would I? Why would I? You guys have two turns. You guys both have your turn. That's true. That's true. I feel like this level of analytical depth we're going into right now, we probably should have done for most of the game. Yeah, I'm about. <laughs> it is clear. It is clear, so you don't see him. Okay, you're staying in that car, though, Isaac, so that's good. Um, 
He's not in the street. Dude, count out the spaces from that revealed token. Count one, two, and three spaces. I what? swear he's within one, two, or three spaces of that token. He has to be. Right? Unless he used a movement card, in which case it's possible that he used it, but I would have thought he already used that by now. Dude, I'm telling you, he is either in V14 or T14, unless he used unless a movement he card. Used but a even movement if he used... <coughs> if he used the movement card, we I don't think he would be further than here or here. Part of me would say that he might be here if he had a little bit extra juice, right? So we could have gone like one, two, three, four, five to get up there, you know? So Dude, I It don't could know. be a fifty fifty, I could jump on either space. Isaac's got the road covered if he passes through the road again. So yeah. I'm thinking back to T14 might be a cool one because it gets you. He's not. That's so so risky to put it for one space though. But if the per but he also knows that. Like he knows that. He's thinking the same thing. Like well, they have to waste a whole turn for one space. Two possible. That's my damage. Jeremy voice, by the way. That's Jeremy's inner monologue. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> oh, I why did I turn? I would go. Dude. I would go here. This actually. This puts puts you. In fine position to go right to the that door, so it does two things. It really narrows it at, uh, narrows it down a lot. He is more than likely here. <laughs> <laughs> but if he lands if you're on, not here. we can really do some damage. Yeah, down. that's the thing. It's like yeah. think well, about whatever you're whatever you're thinking. Jeremy already knows what you're thinking, right? <laughs> I do. I don't know. Well, I mean, he's I, close. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Yeah. I know. I'm I'm going here. I'm going All right. Here. You can smell too. First of all, there. Is it after you after you move and if you don't move, well, whatever? You Does he see you? three or less spaces. Yeah. Does he see and you? you? Smell. Okay, so is the smell okay? Um, you uh, you found me. Are you on his space? Yeah. He's on that space. All right. I don't know how to mark that's that. Two attacks. You put a token. Yes, that's two free hits. I think you auto hit. Two free hits. Yeah. I think you auto hit. You're and then then no, you one hit, one hit, and then you get one to hit, roll. and the other one is on a result of five or higher. Yes. So you take oh, it. I'm so happy that we got that. that was, yes. <laughs> that was, Gosh. Like, we were breaking it down. Was Isaac's like, this, this would put you scary. in an advantageous position to get out. I was like, yeah, he knows that. He's not going <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I'm, so, I'm just, I don't care so if you roll that. Yeah. You get five or better? Yeah. Oh, it's that not, sucks. Yeah, that's not a very well, good roll. You already get an auto hit. Auto hit, yeah. Doing two damage ever is not you know, supposed to be. Aww. Aww. Oh, it's even better when you get a four instead of a five. Aww. Yeah, that was good. There was a few times I'm like, well, I'll just go with the 50 50, and they got it. And then <laughs> the next time I couldn't, I didn't have enough health to try it again. So. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's pretty cool just to like, because you, you leave your marker behind, you can totally mess with their heads. I was trying to think of a way to like put the marker on this side, but then get back, which obviously it wouldn't work because it's your last seen location. So if I went like across the street, then back across the street, you would see me on that side. Yeah, yeah. I would see you walk across. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool, man. But that would have been great for a stealth field if he'd saved that to the end. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would have been like, yeah. And then all of a sudden you're well, like, yeah, I got out that door. Like, so what? stealth field still works with your if you're within two spaces, so you can still see him. You're not completely invisible. Oh, okay. but it just makes you. But it, it lets me like that's what because I, I cross street because you were like here looking down. I'm just like, yeah. okay, I was cross. I'm yeah. not within two. Yeah, it's cool. Great. It's I cool. Like really cool stuff. abilities, yeah. I like that you get to choose them. I like that they're not randomized. Yeah. I think that that's yeah. awesome that we have yeah. no idea what you picked for characters or items. We could spend the whole game wondering, I don't know, do you take the yeah. cloak field? I don't know. Like, that's cool. Uh, yeah, the other thing I noticed, too, like, each character has a little passive ability, and then I looked at everybody else, like, they have three. How come they get three? But you have your special card that goes yeah. with the character, too. Three so. to five cards, depending yeah. on their Well, you get, you get those cards, but then there's also, like, like so I picked Blue Jay. She also has a specific card that can only go with her. Yeah, the, yeah so it counts as it one makes of them cards, more, but, Yeah, it t takes up a card slot, but it makes them more customizable, which is cool. Or it's different. Very cool. Yeah, I like some of the other guys. I'm going to try Cobra next time, because anytime you uh, land on the space with Cobra, I stun them, and you don't get to attack. Oh, so those so times good. when Brian was jumping on my head, it would yeah, do nothing. Yeah, it, just, it would stun you and slow you for next turn. Imagine, dude. like, get that be the first time you were revealed. It's like, yeah, and you're like, and you're stunned. Later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cheesy huge. proximity. Yeah. Yeah, so if you, <laughs> if you, you, know? well. so if you <laughs> land on them, it's, um, yeah, it, it stuns them completely. Or if it's um, orthogonally adjacent, you roll a die and stun on a four plus. So nice. It's pretty cool. That's great. So wow. it's either he's right on top or adjacent. orthogonally, but still. Um, but that means you have to reveal yourself then. Oh, orthogonally, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
So it's, huh. it's still orthogonal, so like right next. So if you either yeah. land on my head, it's guaranteed sun. Right next to you, I roll with that. Yeah, 50 50 That's shot. Really That's awesome. That is a direct Pretty counter cool. to the, uh, to the yeah. beast. Bad damage. Yeah. The yeah. guy with the sword probably would. Yeah, I would he, think. He's stealthy. Well, I got claws. It's Cobra. Cobra Sweet. Commander. Sweet, dude. I mean, right. Looks like some that was really cool. armor. Yeah, that was really fun. Quite, quite I enjoyed that pick up too. Yeah, that was yeah. actually for for a new game for our first time. A two hour a two hour game is pretty impressive. <laughs> it yeah. takes us a long time to do it usually, yeah. but that was good for a first game. I mean, that's that's what it took to overall. There was obviously interruptions in between. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, you know, again, if you were just gonna play it straight through, maybe even shorter. So. What's the box say? I don't know. It's an hour, it's hour and a half. Yeah. I never trust the box. Sixty to one hundred and twenty. That's so one I'd say that's pretty close actually. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing with less players, I could I could totally see that. So. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. That was a good time. Oh, it was cool. awesome. Fun time. We beat Jeremy for the first time ever. I yeah, think it was Team Red over here. Red, <laughs> red, shirt. red, red shirt. Total accident. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. It was a, these guys were already dressed in red and he was blue, and I put so, a red shirt yeah. on. So. <laughs> <laughs> you told him we had to. Yeah, yeah it worked out. All right, well, I think it's going to wrap it up for us. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you, guys. And uh, we'll catch you again next time. Take care. Anyway, hey, well, thanks again so much for watching, and uh, we hope you uh, see you again soon. That didn't make any sense. Let me do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wife. Wait, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys at least one win, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we yeah. gotta have one once in a while.